what is going on ladies my ladies it is scorpion red tarot back at it again to let you know what we got in store for the divine the finance feminine yes indeed we're going to find out what energies we have surrounding the divine feminine for mid-march the 15th through the 31st shout out to everyone who is a new subscriber thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing my content if this video resonates with you or if any of the videos that I post resonate with you if you want to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking the like tab all right I'm sorry the about tab there is a hyperlink at the bottom in blue that says scorpion red tarot at simply book me again at scorpion red tarot at simply book me okay if this video gives you insight and help you gain some clarity about your situation and you just want to send a love donation of thanks my paypal is in the description let's get into the reading for the divine my fine ass feminine all right look father god thank you so much for bringing us here today mid-march the 15th through the 31st for the divine feminine Thank you so much for giving us daily bread and keeping us encouraged. We don't even through the divine masculine in there. Now, you know, Father, we opening up our heart and we try and get them daily bread, too, because we was like, F them, okay? Let them figure it out on their own. But no, you know what, Father? We are forgiving, we are living, and we are learning, and we are liking the results. And we thank you so much, Father God. Please give us the divine energy. Please give us divine wisdom. Please give us nourishment for mid-March, for the Divine Feminine. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much. Please give us guidance for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. All right. Let's find out what energies we got circulates on. Okay. All right. Child, I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have to deal with no music, you guys. Oh, also, I'm forgetting this. Listen, you guys, I just got my new decks. I told you guys that you guys have been showing up and showing out on these private bookings and these love donations. So, I did purchase some new decks. So, whoever, whichever sign is selected most viewed, the first two signs top two signs that are selected most viewed they will get the first reading with my new decks okay so i got the alice in wonderland decks as well as the rebel oracle cards and you know i cuss like a damn sailor okay so if i could find a tarot deck that cuss just as much as i do you know i fucking love it i'm loving it facts okay so and trust me, if you love Alice in Wonderland half as much as I do, we're going to love these cards. I cannot wait to use them. I've been itching, itching to use them. That's why I'm like, let me hurry up and get all these videos out so I can give it a week and see who's going to, you know. Right now, I think, who is in lead? Um, Libra. Libra is in the lead, and I want to say Gemini is coming right up behind them. So if you want your sign to be selected for most of you, make sure that you go over there, watch the video, like, share, and subscribe, share, share, share. Sharing is caring. So if there's anybody that you know that this video resonates with them, your, your sign video resonates with them, and y'all have the same sign, go ahead and, you know, share it. So, you know, you guys can be selected for the most viewed, all right? Otherwise, you guys might have to wait till April to see those comments. All right, so let's get in. Let's get in. I don't know why my little butt just for the past couple of days. I don't know why I can't shuffle y'all. And please know there will not be any more music. I'm probably lying because I'm probably going to say fuck YouTube and still put my, my music in my videos because fuck YouTube, okay? I do not do this for money, but shit. If I can't get a coin, I want it. Fuck it. But they, like, put the copyright things where you can't monetize the videos and all of this stuff like that. If you 
put music in there and trust me i have my days but i simply just do not care but sometimes it's like you know you do all that work you want to get you know whatever little ten dollars i'm gonna get for my little video so you know <laughs> It's going to kill me. Trust me, y'all. It is going to kill me not to have my music playing in the background. Because y'all know I love my damn vibes, y'all. Y'all know I love my vibes. What is it? The Empress in Reverse. The Hierophant in Reverse. Come on now. What's going on? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Eight of Cups. We ain't going backwards, ladies. We is not going backwards. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in our favor. We ain't going back. Exactly, you ain't going back because don't nobody got time for that. He's dealing with no beggar, bar, stealer. That it? Oh no, some of y'all are definitely trying to go back. Mm. Some of y'all are not listening to reason. Oh, some of y'all are not listening to reason. Y'all are not listening to reason. That was just clarified. That y'all are definitely trying to go back to someone in your past. Yeah. Y'all emotionally made the decision. Even though you know that this person doesn't give you anything. And you're going to have to put out more than this person gives you. You're still willing to go back. Which is ridiculous. And I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm going to tell y'all how I feel. I don't give a damn if y'all feeling hurt. If y'all feeling hurt, feel hurt y'all feel some type of way, unsubscribe. Because if y'all want the real, I'm going to give you the real. If y'all want that fake ass shit, it's, oh, y'all are going to meet y'all soulmate. Y'all twin flame. And it's going to be this. And peaches and, and spice and everything nice. And just everything in the world is perfect. And true love. And your soulmate's coming back. Look, I'm not the, I'm not the reader for you. Please unsubscribe. No one is your true friend if they don't tell you the truth. There's a tactful way of telling the truth. Regardless if it hurt, you need to know the truth. And right now, y'all have not been taking care of yourself. And I have to re re repeat and remind you guys. This is collective energy. There's a thousands and thousands of people that watch this video a lot of new people are coming to this video. So if you are one of my ladies that watch Divine Feminine Daily Bread, this energy may not pertain to you. And depending on how it goes, I might pull another spread specifically for my Daily Bread group. Because there are a lot of women that are past this and are most definitely not thinking about going back to the ex. Okay? But the person in this energy... It's uncomfortable. They're unstable. It ain't no fable. It is no propagandas, falsehoods, or lies here. This woman has not been taking care of herself. She has not been dressing nicely. I feel like you've been looking frumpy. You've been looking a little homely. A little dishuffled. You ain't been going to get your hair done, your nails done the way that you should. You have been racking your fucking mind about if you should go back or not. And I, and, and, and I want to say some of y'all been going through like a level of depression. Like, you know, like how sometimes you be going through some depression because a relationship is over. And some people, I'm not going to say me because I haven't do, I haven't done it. But I know firsthand a friend that when she gets through these little depression stages and stuff like that, she will legitimately not eat. She would not sleep and she would not get up and shit shower and shave. Excuse me. No, she would shit, but she won't shower or shave, bitch. And I'll come over to her house. I'll be like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why you look why you look like that? You look like you just been in the house for six days. Yeah, girl, I ain't take a bath. I, I ain't been out this house. I ain't took a bath in like three, four days. What? What is you sitting in the house crying? If you don't get your black ass up and go take a fucking shower and go shave your poom poom and get the fuck... Girl! Sitting in your living room with a whole fucking wildebeest box wolf pussy down there. Okay? You can see the afro peeking out up under your underwear, bitch. That afro so damn big. If you don't get your... Listen. I'm not about to do it with y'all today. 
I, that's one thing I will not do. Uncleansliness and a woman not taking care of herself. I cannot do that. You don't have to go every other day, every other week, go get your hair and nails done. But you can take a motherfucking shower. You can wash your ass. You can put some decent clothes on. And you can do your hair. No man is worth you sitting up there allowing yourself to sink this low. Not only have you sunk low into depressions and you're in a... You're in an unsavory environment. The Empress in the upright, she is extremely, and I mean extremely. I want to say just not wealthy or well off, but she takes good care of her environment. Like if you go in her home, her home is immaculate. It smells good. Like she has the best furniture. I mean, she wears the finest clothes. She looks and she smells like she's royalty. She looked like if you was the buyer, she probably tastes like it too. In the reverse, this person needs a makeover. This person needs to get their self together. And you are totally going against all of the teachings that have been taught to you in your upbringing about your self-love, about how to carry yourself, about how important it is to love yourself and only be with someone who wants to be in a committed relationship or marriage with you. And like I feel like you done got into this depression. And I want to say that y'all are almost like y'all going through a whole phase right now. Is someone going through a whole phase? I feel like someone's going through a whole phase. You are doing something completely against your morals. And you just you just ain't been really taking care of yourself as well. You ain't you haven't been taking care of yourself as well. And I feel like y'all are out here just like, you know what, well, fuck this shit. This shit ain't working out. When you want to get dressed up and you want to go out and go date people and stuff like that, yeah, you will pull yourself together. Other than that, I just see that you just sit around in the house and just mope and you just surviving and you just living. And it's like this person was out there cheating, fucking a whole bunch of niggas and doing, I mean, ooh, I hope he wasn't fucking a whole bunch of niggas. Hold on. This, ooh, he might have been. Excuse me, for some of y'all, he might have been. So if y'all have that little uh, itching in your back, feeling like, hold on, he might be taking a couple stacks. <laughs> he might be a little gay for pay, bitch. Girl, why the, I don't know why where that came from, but shit, it kind of popped in my head, so I'm going to say it. I ain't even going to play with it. Mm-mm. Y'all are mirroring this person's energy. you like, this person was out here cheating on me, doing whatever they want to do. That's okay. I'm about to go out there. I'm just about to have fun. I don't even want to be in a relationship right now. I just want to do what I want to do. I just want to go and find me somebody just to have some fun with. I just need me a little fuck buddy. <sighs> whatever. Whatever, Divine Feminine. I don't know what y'all are on right now, but this is like a far cry leaps and bounds away from the daily bread. I don't know what's going on right here. Okay? But y'all have completely fell the fuck off. Good luck and, and, and blessings is coming in your favor. You need to get this shit together. I'm like, I'm so serious about it. I'm so serious about it because y'all are even thinking about going back. You already, this person already walked away and left you standing there looking at. <laughs> this person walked away from you emotionally a long time ago. Not only that, you know that you're going to have to give more and take care of this person financially. You don't have to do more for this person than this person has ever done for you on a physical sense and an emotional sense. So it's like, I don't even know why you will find why. You a precious investment. This person knocked your cup over for a dollar store for some price right ass goddamn wine. Girl, get out of here. Get out of here. Why would you want to go back to that? Why would you want to go back to a situation with someone that you know you're going to have to give more to him than you're going to have to give, that he's going to have to give to you? That's stupid. And here you is again. Now it's like, no, I made up my mind. Look, I made up my heart. My heart. And my emotions is telling me that you missed this person from the past. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to beg ball <coughs> to provide for me and this person. Because this person ain't going to really give me shit. But at the same time, I done made my mind up that I'm ready to go back. Y'all better stop letting that retrograde make a fool out of you. 
You ready to come out of hiding? Father, give me some additional guidance. I just... Phew. I'm sorry, Divine Feminine. Y'all know I'm I'm not even on front with y'all. I can't right now with this. If this right here, the Six of Coins, was not, was, was not in reverse, someone that you have in a big foot, this person doesn't even feel like they have to take care of you. They feel like you need to take care of them. And you really resent the fact that you have to do everything financially on your own. It's just like, oh, well, I don't care. I, uh, uh, I just want my divine masculine back. I want this. It's going to be no victory in this situation. You better cut it out. This thinking. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all about to make me click off this video, man. I pro this man don't love you. Why are you about to sit here and make a fucking fool out of yourself? Come on, man. God, come on, ladies. Come on. It's got to be some new energy, man. This this, this ain't this ain't my OGs. This is not my OGs, man. I promise you. My OGs, let me see them thumbs up in the, in the comment section. My OGs know what I'm saying. My OGs has been on this divine feminine journey with me, honey. And especially been in the daily bread. Y'all know we ain't talking. You already know we ain't talking. To, this ain't you. Y'all y'all give me them thumbs up in the comment section, man. The thumbs up to say I'm an OG. I'm an OG. That's me. You are not trying to release the energy of this situation. And the answer is no. I just told you you're not going to be victorious. And the answer is no. You gonna go right back and get your face cracked all over again. Stupid. And I'm sorry, like, if y'all feel like I'm calling you stupid, I am. This is stupid. It's absolutely fucking stupid. <laughs> Tripping off of this twitness. And let me say this. That's why sometimes it's like I, I've been I've been really contemplating and thinking hard about if I should stop doing these twin flame videos, cause I don't know if it's helping people or if it's hurting people. My OGs, I know it helps them because I know where your heart and your mind is at. But y'all don't understand some of the emails that I get. Y'all don't understand some of the comments that I delete. A lot of you guys are allowing this word. Now, mind you, this is in reverse. So, this is telling you, that motherfucker is not your twin flame. Haven't I been telling you that this whole fucking time? Haven't I been told? <laughs> oh, I'm getting annoyed. And I'm letting y'all know this is not about to be a long video because I'm not about to stay in this energy because I'm getting irritated. I'm seriously getting irritated. The answer is no. This person does not love you. You're going to go back and get your fucking face cracked. Yet again. Only to be email me and be crying me. Why? Crying. Why? Because you don't run the release. I need clarity. I need. I don't understand. I just want to. You know. I need a solution to this. I need to know where we stand for fucking what. Where are you staying? The motherfucker left you emotionally. What is there even to think about? Y'all let this stupid ass fucking word twin flame. In a definition, oh, a twin flame is somebody y'all are connected throughout universes and stuff like that. And one is the, the runner, and one is the chaser, and this, this, and that. And one is always running, and the other one is always chasing. And to, hey, fuck that shit. I'm not chasing after nobody. Either you want to be with me, and you love me, and you're going to respect me. Fuck, I look like a fucking. Come on, man. If y'all. Listen. Everyone that has got a personal reading from me, they will tell you, I don't tolerate this shit. Self-love. If you loved yourself, you wouldn't be running around chasing nobody. And if me saying that to you hurt your feelings, I hope it hurt to the core. Seriously. 
If you love yourself, you would not be running around chasing nobody saying, oh, it's my twin flame. You look stupid. What the fuck am I going to keep running around chasing somebody that's constantly rejecting me? Cracking my face open, making me look dry and fucking stupid. What they say, you look thirsty because you dry. Your face cracked. Every time you run back to this motherfucker, this person tell you, no, you're not the one. No, you're not the one. No, I don't love you. They don't even tell you. They show it to you. So what the fuck you keep chasing around this motherfucker for? <laughs> this is not your twin flame. I told you that a long time ago. Y'all are chasing a fuck nigga. And truly blocking your true twin flame coming to you because you want to run around and chase a fucking loser. They ain't even got shit to give to you. No emotions. No mental stability. And damn sure not a commitment. But yet you running around trying to get, get <laughs> fucking communication from this person who don't love you. And that you've never been victorious in love with. What, for a honeymoon period? It was, you felt victorious? And this person started cheating on you and started making you feel like you ain't shit? <laughs> Left you emotionally and had you sitting back looking, trying to figure out what happened? You are going to be given a deep sense of regret. Okay? In the upright... It means what it means in the upright. In the reverse, sometimes it can mean it's ever you getting over or it can go sink e even deeper than what it meant in the upright. You are going to seek so deep into this fucking regret of making a fool of yourself, going back to this person. You already are uncomfortable and ain't taking care of yourself behind this motherfucking situation. How far are you going to go? How low are you going to go? How low are you going to make this person feel? Make you feel? How low? <sighs> oh my God, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm about to give y'all some angel messages from the angel. And I'm cutting it short because... Let me tell you something. I can't help y'all with this. The ones that's going through this shit... Y'all need to love yourself. Can't no tarot cards help you with this. You need to form a relationship with yourself and with God. And you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why the fuck am I? Do I feel like I am not good enough while I'm running around chasing someone that treats me like shit and keeps telling me that I am not worthy. But yet I run around and chase this motherfucker like a chicken with the head cut off. What is it about me that I do not love myself enough to know that good luck and good fortune, God has been doing nothing but giving me and blessing me with good luck and good fortune ever since I let this motherfucker go. And now I'm about to willingly walk back to a situation that did nothing but bring me misfortune? You were going to lose financially, sweetheart. Everything you work for, you're going to lose it. There's a total to pay for stupidity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Be careful what y'all are asking for. Because you're going to get exactly what you're asking for. And you see this motherfucker already giving to two. You want to sit. You want to go back and get in a situation with a person that you're going to have to financially take care of. For him to give to other people and leave you back. That don't sound stupid. Give me some angel guidance, please. You need to go seek a counselor. I'm sorry, y'all. I really can't. I can't. I'm cutting it short. I'm cutting it short. I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't, I can't. Because we have come too fucking far in this journey 
to be talking about this this dumb ass shit right here. We've come too fucking far. And I don't know whoever this is about in this energy. I need y'all to find another fucking reader, young. Cause my ladies are strong. My ladies are warriors. Okay? This is like a secret fucking a secret society club or some shit almost. This only serpent level of boss bitches that you understand what I'm saying? This 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 is clubhouse level right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is clubhouse presidential level here. This is for the women that are really on some boss bitch shit. You are not about to allow the world to make a fucking fool out of you. Because you're smarter than that. Your faith in yourself and how much you love yourself and your faith in God. You know you deserve better than that and you wouldn't even tolerate it no more. And you're thanking God for showing you the lessons and getting this person out of your life because it changed you and it helped you grow. And it helped you how to learn how to navigate around energies like this. We're not going back to it. So if this is, I don't know who the hell this is on my page with this energy. I need y'all to go find another reader. Because me and my girls, we on a mission. Okay? We are on a fucking mission for greatness and for success. We not running around chasing fucking foolishness. Just because you read it somewhere. I love y'all, young. Whoever this is, go find another reader. Go find y'all somebody that's going to tell y'all what y'all want. Oh, your soulmate loves you. You're going, he's going to come back. You're not going to go back and get your face fucking cracked. Y'all get the fuck off my page with this shit. I'm gone.